your latest news update from Western Mass News. I'm Chris Pisano with a look at your headlines. The Department of Public Health releasing the latest COVID-19 data. The state's positivity rate over the last seven days sits at 1.73 percent. And there have been 28 new deaths due to the coronavirus. So far, more than 1.6 million Massachusetts residents have received one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. A Springfield man is dead after police say he was shot in Chicopee and then crashed his car in Springfield. Last Thursday, Chicopee police responded to shots fired just before midnight near Springfield and Walton Streets. A short time later, Springfield police responded to a scene of a single crashed car into a house near Springfield and Cunningham Streets. They found 31-year-old Luis Ramos dead with what appeared to be bullet wounds. Chicopee police, along with state police and the Hamden County DA's Office of Murder Unit, continue to investigate. In other crime-related news, Massachusetts has released 21 convicted murderers under the state's three-year-old medical parole law. The law allows inmates to petition the State Department of Correction for release regardless of their crime. In the Bay State, inmates can be released if a physician diagnoses them as terminally ill with a life expectancy of less than 18 months. They're also allowed to be released if they're deemed permanently incapacitated and don't pose a risk to society. I'm meteorologist Jana Brown with a check of your forecast. Getting cold tonight. Temperatures will drop into the low teens, possibly challenging some record cold temps for the lower valley. We'll have mostly clear skies with some high thin clouds arriving closer to sunrise and wind becomes light to calm past midnight. A lot less wind expected for your Tuesday as well. Breezes will only be at about 5 to 10 miles an hour and temperatures return to near 40. Still below average for this time of year, but definitely better than Monday. Cloud cover will continue to build throughout the day and skies will turn mostly cloudy for Tuesday night. Night. Chance for a couple of flurries Tuesday night and a Wednesday morning with a passing system to our south. High pressure returns Wednesday afternoon through much of Thursday, helping to keep us dry and actually a little bit milder. Then another storm system makes its way toward the east coast. This one looks to bring the chance for some rain showers for Thursday night and some high elevation snow Friday morning with little to no accumulation. We're back to the mid 50s by Thursday, then blustery and colder Friday, but sunshine and possibly temps as high as 60 on tap for the weekend. Stay with Western Mass News on air, online, and on our app throughout the day for breaking news, weather, and exclusive content.